Okay, so uh, very good afternoon. So today is last tutorial, T4. Okay, normally T4 is the last tu tutorial, but from this semester onwards, T4 is your last, okay? Okay, for today, I will focus on applet, okay? Applet and graphical user interface. But before I touch on applet, let us recall what you learned in uh, T3 two weeks ago, okay? What you learned last class? Any ideas? Okay, you write three programs, three class programs. The first one is counter. Second one? Timer. And finally, you create object, yes. Okay, so these are the things that you learned last class. Okay, basically three programs. Okay, so this is the uh, super class, class counter. This is subclass. And this is the class that you use to create the object of timer and counter. How many subclass we have? Or which is the subclass among these three? Which is the subclass? Counter or timer? Timer. Why timer is a subclass? Ah yes. Okay. Timer got the information from the counter class. How you know that timer got information from counter class? from the keyword extends uh, because extends counter for the more counter is really here so it's, it's understood that this timer going to fetch information from counter okay what you understand by this super here and the here two supers here what you understand what it means others can help huh? no problem super what's the purpose of super keyword to superclass. Yeah, it's true to get the information from the, from the superclass. But what kind of information? I mean, to be specific. It's true, you're going to fetch information from the superclass. But what kind of information that super keyword will do? What's the purpose of super keyword? So you forgot then what you learned two weeks ago. Uh, yes, to call the superclass constructor. Okay, this one will call this constructor or this constructor. We, we have two constructors in superclass, right? And you know, super will call the superclass constructor. But we have two superclass. Uh, sorry, we have two constructors in superclass. So which one? Uh, so this one will call the first one or the second one. First one. First one. Why first one? Uh, because no. Parameter. This one will call the first one or second one? Second one, because you see here one integer, here also one integer. Okay? Here if you put uh, if you put string or character or, or add other data type, this one is integer is wrong. Okay? Sometimes students got confused. They, they, sometimes they thought as long as got one parameter, okay, no problem. This one will call this one. But make sure one parameter and the data type is match. Eh? Okay? If there's no matching, then you'll get error when you compile. Okay, uh, another thing. Okay, here you see, you see display, and here also you see display. What it means? What's the concept that, that explains this phenomena? <coughs> when a method in the, class, in, the, in the superclass is redefined in the subclass, this one is known as method. Uh, overriding or overloading? Overriding because this widget sama dengan macam kat sini kan? kan? But if this is public void display, this is public int display. Okay, now overloading or overriding? Overloading, yes, overloading. Eh? Sometimes just don't see the name. If the data type is different, 
this one is white, this one is INT or whatever it is, uh, that is not overriding, that is overloading. Okay, for example, this one, two, two methods, two constructors having same name. Okay, this one, overriding or overloading? Overloading. overloading. Okay, always remember, normally when you talk about overriding, it involves subclass. Okay, when you're talking about overloading, it can be uh, in the sub, uh, superclass and also in the subclass. Because sometimes, if you have public void display, and suddenly instead of public void display, you put public uh, anti display, uh, this is overloading. Okay? Okay. okay. Now you see here the, uh, the class that we create object. Huh? Okay, do you see any mistake here? This one. What it means? You are creating what? What you understand by this, uh, this line? Creating class or creating object? Yes, creating object. The name of the object is? T1. Okay, T1. So this one is what? Okay, this is variable. Okay, okay. okay this is class name, object name. New is a keyword that you use to, call, uh, to create the object. This one? What you understood by time 10? Uh, sorry, timer 10. Timer 10 is? Anyone? This will call what? This will call the? The constructor. Okay? We have two constructor. So this one will refer to the? First one or second one? Second one. Why second one? Because you see there's a one. Data yeah, INT and this is so INT. Okay? So the always remember we create object at the same time you call the constructor. After that you cannot call the constructor. That is against the Java uh, specification. Eh? Okay, so this one correct or wrong? Object T1 calls data. Data is superclass or from the subclass? Data is from the superclass. Okay, superclass. So object T1 is calling data attribute and 20 is assigned to data. Okay? It looks correct because T1 is object of class timer. Okay? But this T1 is calling an attribute from the counter. Should be alright because this is because counter can use whatever available. Sorry, timer can use whatever available in superclass. Okay? But my question is even though it looks correct, is it syntax error or not? Is it an error or not? Why error? Because? It's simple. You see the keyword, you don't know. Data INT private. <coughs> private. Private is the hint. Private means what? It only can be accessed inside the class. In this class, right? Okay, now it is being called from outside of the class. Can or cannot? Cannot. Uh, if you declare a very attribute as a private, it means it only be, can be reachable inside this class. If you call outside of the class, it's wrong. That is private. If you put public, can no problem. Okay, but some of you might might argue, but T1 is uh, uh, it's object of timer, and timer is a subclass of counter. So by right, T1 should be able to call. No. Because even though T1 is an object of timer, and timer is a subclass of counter, but you are calling data from outside of this class. Uh, private cannot. You can always remember, because sometimes students always confuse. They say, oh, this is T1, subclass of uh, T1 is timer. It's a subclass of counter, and counter got data. So no problem. Okay? Actually, it's wrong. Because data is private. Okay? So this is wrong. Eh? So I will delete. So this is wrong. Okay, how about T1 update? T1 update is calling from timer or from counter? Counter. Eh? Uh, if you notice, uh, timer don't have update. Right. So when it don't have update, so it will, will search in the superclass. Okay. So initially, attribute of data is 10, right? Now it will become 11. Because update means just plus plus one. Lah. Okay. 
Okay, display. Display means, okay, T1 display. So which one? Which display? We have two display, right? So, so T1 is calling display. So this display or this display? It's very simple. T1 is object of timer or class. Eh, sorry, timer or counter? Timer. Okay, timer. Okay, so T1 will use display in timer because it has been redefined, been overwritten. Okay, so this one won't be called. Okay. But sometimes, uh, even though you have cancelled display, if inside this display, if you want to call display from the super class, you can call. You can call using super dot display. For example, if inside you put super dot display, it refers to this one. Okay. Okay, anything else? Okay, how about this one? Uh, any errors here? No, no errors. Update, update. Update locally, no problem. An object can call a method many times. This one, no problem. How about this one? C1, this. Wrong or correct? C1 data. Okay, see, eh? this class, the name is OBJ, right? This class is counter, it's private. Data is private. So, from here, you're calling data. Data is private, so cannot. Uh, so, this is wrong, eh? this is wrong. Same like the previous uh, object. Okay, so this one you take out. Okay, so you need to do homework, eh? exam on, uh, you have, I think, another, in one month time, right? Okay. Uh, okay, any question regarding whatever we learned last class? Okay, I, okay now I will give you a few minutes for you to do the self-assessment eh, for the topic that I'm going to discuss today. Only four questions, MCQ question. Okay, just take one minute to, to do this question. Eh? You can refer to, your, to the module, okay? If you, if you find it difficult to get the information or to get the answer from the module, you just guess, okay? No problem. Because later, at the end of the class, you will redo again, okay? Just check whether your answer is correct or not. Okay, only four, four questions, eh? Okay, first question. Which of the following classes that can be considered as an applet program? So, you have four options, okay? Second question. Which of the following is not the characteristics of applets? Okay. Which of the following layout managers the best to be used for the following user interface? Okay, never mind. Okay, just t uh, take note your answer. Number four, which of the following uh, library methods that can be considered as a constructor method in J applet class? Okay. okay, just take your answer. Later, when I finish discussing the topic, you can, you can redo, okay? Just to make sure you get the correct answer. Okay, don't worry yeah, if you don't get the correct answer okay in the previous tutorials uh, okay in the previous tutorials and also in your assignment question when you write the program the class program and then when you create the object and then you, you when you get the output the output appeared as a text-based output, right? Okay, the output is just a text-based output uh, produced in this command prompt environment. Okay, everything is te text-based. Okay, but in uh, Java, uh, besides of this text-based output, you also can, ha can have output like this. <coughs> ah, okay, you also can have output like this. This is graphical user interface. Okay, say like VB. Okay, I think some of you have taken VB, eh, visual programming. So you can have interface like this, eh? graphical user interface. So this one is what? Text area. This one, text, text field. This one, label. This one, button. Okay, but in Java, this one, we call it J button. Of course, this is button, okay? But when you want to use the object of this button, you need to use J button. This is J, text field. This is J label. This is J, text area. Okay, so actually they are locked. Okay, so other example, J, okay, pop-up, radio button, 
Okay, all this, all these are covered in the module. Lah. Topic uh, ten. Okay, topic ten is about graphical user interface. Topic nine is about applet. So today I will touch both nine and ten. Okay, topic eight is quite straightforward. You can read on your own. Eh? Topic eight is about Java libraries. Eh? How to use Java libraries, all that. Okay, that one you can read on your own because it doesn't involve any programming. Just more on the concept. Okay, so today topic nine and topic ten. So how you you can write this? I mean programs to produce output like this. Okay, normally. If you want to write uh, Java programs which produce output like this, okay, which has graphical user interface, so you can use either applet or frame. Applet or frame. Okay? Both programs will produce output like this, graphical user interface. But what's the difference between applet and frame? 